Hey everybody, Dr. Ford here. I want to give you a quick overview of how I use the new Zoom whiteboard as I prepare for class. Because whiteboard is no longer just a tool that can be used during a live meeting. I'm using my whiteboard on my iPad to get started. Let me bring this up so you guys can see it. All right, now we're looking at the Zoom client on my iPad. And as you look down the left-hand side, just see there's a more button here. Make sure you explore this because there's a lot of great things that you can do, but one of them is whiteboard. Now, I'm a music teacher here, so what I'm going to do is create a new whiteboard in preparation for class. When I click that, it pops a new whiteboard up and gives me all these amazing templates. Go down here to Sports and Games and choose the music sheet and use the template. Now, we'll make some modifications to this template as we get ready for class, but I just want you to see that now we're here, I'm ready to go and head on down to the hall. I'll see you there. Hey. Welcome to my classroom where I have this amazing Zoomer. Now you're still looking at my iPad because the first thing I do when I come in is I pair. Down in the lower left-hand corner of my iPad right here, I click a button that says scan QR code on the room or connect with code. So I'm going to pair with this room. The key is O-P-F-F-C-T. O-P-F-F-C-T. And let's pair. Now in the lower corner right down here, I know you can barely see it. But it shows a picture of me and says that I'm paired, which is absolutely amazing. I'm paired my iPad, and now I'm going to open up my whiteboard. Let's go right back to the one we were creating just a moment ago. I'll click on it right here, and I will open it on my classroom device. Now, check out over my shoulder. Now, there in the corner it says, do you want to open this whiteboard from this particular person? Yes, I do. Let's open it right up. So the whiteboard that we created in our office before we came down is now open and ready for modifications before the students arrive. Go ahead and uh, pinch in just a tad, pull over the stun eye, and let's start getting some of these music symbols, and we'll pull them directly up here so we can be ready when they come. So we've got our three stems ready to go, and uh, let's put some time signatures in there just to get going. Now, I've got a little bit more work to do before the students get here, so uh, I'll have to see you soon after we get done with class. Hey, everybody, Dr. Ford here one more time for that after-class experience. Just wanted to take a second and check out the student work. Now, I will tell you that what we did once we got into class, that initial whiteboards, we brought the students into small groups, made copies of the board, and assigned them as the entrance for those individual boards for their group work. Now, let's check out group two's class work from today. The great part about it is that it's after the end of the day, I'm done, they're done, but I still have the ability to kind of check in and make sure they're doing what they need to be doing, make sure everything's going on. Okay. All right. What? Well, yep. They identified the name of the song that I played. They got their notes positioned correctly. They got their soul fares. They're counting, and they are doing great on this. All right. So let's go ahead and uh, give them a little bit of a grade here for now, just so they understand. Keep up the good work. Well, I'm done for the day. I hope you are too. I'll talk to you soon. Play a little Star Wars video. Bye.